Hi everybody, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. In this video, I am going to show you how I make my dinner napkins. I own an Etsy store and I have an order for one of these dinner napkins. Customer wants it with their initials. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I make these dinner napkins. So if you're interested in making some of these, that way you can do them at home. So I also do these napkins on the Etsy 1900. So it's really easy if you, if you have a five by seven hole you're good to go so anyway um as i said you know this is my etsy shop okay and i had a customer that has purchased my dinner napkin as you can see i already have about seven people that have this in their um in their cart and um it's a very popular design so i am going to be putting more designs out there if you look at the dinner napkins, you'll see that I also have other designs that I just have not had a chance to make the listings of. But um, this particular customer saw the listing that I have for this one and they want this dinner napkin with the letter K. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it, okay? So these are not um, designs that I actually um, made. These are embroidery files that I make, you know, that I buy. And then what I do is that I just put the initial inside of the design. And then I just embroider them in the napkin. So like I said, I am trying to learn how to digitize. So I have not digitized. So the files that I am using are not files that I've created. These are files that I have purchased from other embroidery websites. So this is a really, really pretty, um, pretty design. And all I did was I just added the initial in the middle. So I'm going to, the way I did this was using in brilliant. So if you go over to my mat, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So if you have in brilliant essentials, okay. Um, what I did is I just opened up the file. I bought a PES file. And then what I did was, um, this is a five by seven hoop. So if you have, um, in brilliant essentials, and you want to know what file hoop you're using in your software, you just go to Embrilliance, Preferences, Hoops, and then as you can see, I have five by seven selection, selected, and then you hit apply, um, and then there's your five by seven. So um, I know right now it looks a little small, I just have to zoom in, and you click on here, and I'll make sure I'm in the middle, and this is it. So this is the design that I have. Now this font, all you do is if you wanna add a font to your design, is you hit this button right here and then it prompts up the um, the font box. So as you see, um, you know, right here I hit it and then I just put the letter K. The font that I am using for this one is a Zaz Georgia font and it's a one and a half inch and I typed in the letter K. Now you always whenever I create a um a design then what I do is I just hit file and I hit save as stitch and working. The reason why I like doing save as stitch and working is because it saves the file as a stitch file and it also saves it as a be file a be file is a file that you can edit once you save it as a pes file or any other type of file like uh, for other embroidery machines you cannot modify it so i always save it as both so um i went and i created it and i saved it as an etsy k towels file so what I did was I am going to save this file on my flash drive. I'm saving that and I guess I already saved it. That's why I asked me to replace it. Before I always eject it, I always look to make sure that my file is saved. And as you can see, it's the Etsy BE and the Etsy uh, PES. So this is the file that I'm going to use to embroider. One of the things that you can do in here is if you're interested in seeing how it is going to look when you stitch it out, if I click here, I have the option to select the color, okay? Um, this particular customer asked for the color gold. So I am going to 
<coughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Cameraman is uh, sneezing. Okay, rich gold. I'm going to add that there. And then I'm also going to make the letter K. I'm going to change that as a rich gold. Move it to the side. Okay. Okay, and this is this will give you an idea of how it's going to look, okay? Usually, I don't change the color for the simple fact that, you know, I already know what color I'm going to use when I stitch it out. So, you know, I just kind of like leave it, and then when it's time for me to just um, sew it, I just use the color, the thread that I want to do. So, right now, what I'm going to do is because I already know I saved my file on here, I am going to close my file, and I'm going to... I'm not gonna save that because I just I already saved it. Um, and then I'm going to quit in brilliance. Oh, um, let me save that. That's a Jeanette snap tab. I'm playing around with snap tabs. Once I got that straight, then I will make sure to share how I do these with you. Um, then I go into my Mac and I am going to eject this. And then I'm going to take my USB and we are going to head over to the um, sewing machine. Okay, so here I go. Um, I had just literally put the embroidery unit on here. I'm gonna hit okay. Um, oop, I gotta change my foot. So I'm gonna change my foot on my embroidery unit. And where did I put the other case? Here it is. So I'm going to stop the camera because I know you guys don't want to watch me change this. Um, I already have another video on how I change this. Well, as a matter of fact, you know, I mean, I change this pretty quickly. So hold on, just put, just changing it real quick. <laughs> nah, don't stop it. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm cha I'm changing it pretty quick. So all right. So just I, I was sewing before. And now I'm going to embroider. So I am changing it over to my embroidery foot. And I am in. I'm good. Got my embroidery. It's nice and tight. Always make sure it's tight. And I always put my stuff exactly where it's supposed to be. Because let me tell you, so many stuff. The last thing you want to do is lose something. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to put my USB port in here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I can't see. Try, try the other way. The other way? Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. Got it. In. All right. Now I'm going to, when you want to, after you have a file on here, you want to hit your this button right here for the USB port. It's going to read the files that you have on there. When you notice that you have a file that is blacked out like, like this that just means that it's too big it's not going to be able to do it here but i'm going to look for the file that i just did with the letter k i have lots of files on here as you can see let me see oh, yeah, where is it there okay. we go here it is okay i'm going to select that and i'm going to set it and there it is okay now let's say i do want to just change the um the color on here okay because you know i did save it with the color um purple and x and mm -hmm. and um k okay i'm gonna leave the k black because i do want the machine to stop sewing okay but what i'm going to do is i'm gonna do click on here okay you saw the little stool with the different colors so then what i'm gonna do is i'm going to select here now notice this is the the picture it shows the picture of the color that i'm going to change i'm sorry i guess i was going too fast but um, let me reset. So we're back on here, okay? So when you look on here, this is the portion of the design that we're going to change the color. See, the purple is the purple on here. Every time you select on something, it's going to change the color to this section of the design. See, like, look, this is going to be yellow now. See? Mm -hmm. It's going to be... Black. And I could do it black. I was just saying, like, the K is separate from... Yeah, the K is separate. It's a separate design. It'll do it separate because that's like a stoppage. Mm -hmm. So, but what I want to do is I want to pick the color gold. So this is like, I think it's the gold. Is it? Mm -hmm. 
Well, it doesn't really matter. I, I know, know I know the thread oh, yeah, because right. I have I have the thread right here. I'm gonna use this thread for both. So it doesn't really matter what color you have selected, as long as it's just really the thread. Right. I just know what I'm going to put in there when it's going to stitch out that portion. Okay. Now I want to leave it as black for the K, but I'm not gonna use black thread for the K. I'm actually gonna continue to use this. The reason why I have it in black is because I want to make sure the machine stops. So that way, you know, I can then hit continue and then it'll do the letter K, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna hit okay, and I'm gonna add the edit, embroider, and now it's ready to embroider. Now, as you can see, it's gonna, if you read this correctly, it's 20,000 stitches, okay? And usually people, what they do is they charge $1 per stitch so something of this nature, most of the people charge $20. I, my dinner napkins, I don't know. I just charge $7 a dinner napkin. I mean, you know, it, it works for me, you know. I mean, maybe later on, I'll, I don't know, maybe lift up the price. But I only charge $7 a napkin, you know. I mean, depending on the design, okay. So for this one, I chose to just charge 7 So... Now that I have this all set up, let's go over and I'm going to show you how I set up the um, dinner napkin in the hoop before I put it in the machine. Okay, so this is the dinner napkin. The customer wanted um, white dinner napkin with um, gold thread. So this is the white dinner napkins that I pick, okay? Now, hooping, the way I hoop these dinner napkins is I use the sticky stabilizer. So I always cut it so that it is bigger than the hoop, okay? So what I do is I just take this, this is the bottom of the hoop, okay? Take this, put it over, and then I just snap this in. Nice and snug. There it is, it's snug. Is it snug? Yeah. Get it nice and snugged in there. Yep, it's nice and snug. Then what I do is I take something sharp because what I want to do is I want to perforate it. So I just go like this. You don't press real, real hard. Because what you want to do is you just want to lift the paper off of the sticky portion of the stabilizer. I usually do this with a steam ripper, but I just don't know what a steam ripper is. There we go. See? Mm -hmm. So if you see, this is sticky. This is really a good product to use whenever you're like embroidering a towel. Or even a shirt too. Sometimes you, you don't want to, you know, if you have something that you want to embroider, but it's, it's really difficult to get it inside of the hoop, um, floating is a good option. And when you're floating it, it's always best to use sticky stabilizer because as you can see, this is pretty sticky. So it's it holds the item down really well, okay? Now, the napkin. Usually what I do with the napkin is I always have the tab down, okay? And then what I do is I fold it in half. I usually take this to an iron and then I just take all the wrinkles out and then I kind of iron the, the edge, okay? Now what I do is I will take a ruler, which I have plenty of, here and I measure two inches I do the inches from the the tip of the bottom of the napkin to here and then what I do is I pinch this okay this is the bottom of my two inches now I look at look at your hoop okay a lot of times I've done this incorrectly you want this to be facing on your left hand side okay and that's the, the portion of the hoop that you snap into the machine. Make sure it's on your left. Because what you're gonna do is right from where you pinched it, right here at the, you see this little niche here? 
you're gonna line this but inside I don't know if you did you see it did you catch it are you, are you doing this yes okay two inches mm -hmm. and you're gonna do it inside see this is here here mm -hmm. there then what you're gonna do is you guys let me know if Cardito the cameraman is slacking off on the jaw um and then I just do it straight okay once I do it straight I kind of like smooth it oh and look I already did wrong because look this is the back of the napkin see that's Cardito's fault he didn't let me focus okay so do this okay oh all right two inches here we go again two inches mm -hmm. all right supposed to be doing it this way no you know what i did wrong guys when i ironed it i ironed it wrong how did you iron it wrong because the outside of the napkins the edges of the outside napkins are supposed to be here so you go like this, see? That crease is supposed to be this way, okay? I hope I didn't confuse you guys. This tab should be sticking out because what's gonna happen is you want this to lay out like that because you're gonna embroider inside, okay? This is the, the, the top of the napkin. This is the back of the napkin. So when you iron it, make sure, you know, I just ironed it wrong. So, okay, thank God I caught that. So, two inches, this is a two inch mark. Okay, this is straight. So, I'm going right in here, two inches, and then I'm just going to smooth it out. And you want this to be aligned straight. There you go straight and then I just go like this and then you open it up and there you go right smack in the middle mm -hmm. now this tab is always going to be in here so what I do is I just lift it take the tab out because you don't want to embroider the tab you just lift it up like that and then I just move it out like that nice and straight see yep. there you go now you're ready to take this over to your embroidery machine and you're going to snap it in. So here we go. I have white bobbin thread at the bottom. Okay. And now I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to snap my hoop in. There you go. where it's going to in broader oh I should have done that before but I could do it now okay hit the back button see this button right here with the arrows with the little dots going around okay if you click on that that will bring up this screen then you can see where on here you're gonna embroider so like this is it's always on the center okay and then if you look on your design right here, you're going to see like this um, green plus sign. It's right by the K. Watch how it goes up on the top. See? So mm -hmm. that shows that is the where the needle is. That's the top of this design. Click on here. That's where the needle is on this design. The other side. And then take, um, I also want to show you guys also. This red box is the area of embroidery, okay? So, that's the end, it's gonna stop there. That's the end. Now, if you click here, it's going to do the whole thing. See? That's where your whole design is going to be. That's perfect. There you go, okay? So I'm going to start it off at the middle, and then I'm gonna hit okay, and I'm gonna hit embroidery, and of course, I have to put in my uh, 
Your thread. My thread. And I have to use this stand because I this fluorescent thread, for some reason, it just doesn't fit in my machine. See? It doesn't it doesn't fit, doesn't look good look good on there. So I use my um my single thread. I got this off of Amazon. It wasn't expensive, it was about like 20 something dollars. You just put it in here, then you kind of thread, thread it through here, put it on the side of the machine, and then you just thread the rest of it as normal. Six, seven, there we go, there. And right there, I'm going to push down. And I'm going to start. It's a really, really pretty design. This 
font is really, it has never let me down. You know, I really like the way that it, it stitches. And it is at the end. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up. And, you know, Cardito quit on me as the uh, cameraman. So I am holding <laughs> the camera in one hand and popping this out on the other. <laughs> and let's see what it looks like. Ah, the finished product here. And here you go. This is the dinner napkin. And then to get it out, all I do is I just, you know, peel it out. Okay, you just do it gently. Don't, you know, you don't want to mess it up. You know, it really won't, but I, I just, I always like to do this slowly. And then I don't do any backing on my dinner napkins. I don't know if I should, but I just haven't been doing any. Sorry guys, because I'm just doing this with one hand and I'm holding the camera with the other. Carlito! Sorry guys, I don't mean to be yelling. It's just that, you know, he's in that video game mode. So it's like, uh, you know? Get him to hold a camera. It's like, really? All right, so anyway, what I do in the back, Carlito is I, um, I'll forget him. What I do is I just, I just, you know, cut this and then, you know, the right here, I just cut these. I will peel these off. It's just that I can't do it with, with one hand. I need somebody to hold the camera for me to peel it off, so... But that's usually what I do. So, but if you notice, the back looks a little better. I just have to clean this up. Once I have both hands free, I can do that. And then I just cut this. And then what I'll do is I'll iron it and, um, you know, package it up. And I guess I'll show you. Can you hold it now? Thank you. All right. So, like I said, once I had my hand free, I can then peel these off. Are you really swinging at the video game? Not anymore. You're not, you're not winning? You were? Yeah, now that I'm gone, I'm not. Eh, just give them a chance to win. Sometimes you can't win all the time. <laughs> Alright, so then what I do is I have my iron. And I like to iron these really nicely. And another thing that I noticed too here on this fabric, it has these blue threads. I don't know where these threads came from, but I'm going to take a needle. Let's see if I could pop these out. See? Because if not, then I have to redo this whole dinner nap because I'm not going to send this to a customer with a blue thread on there. See, there's a blue thread there. See, I don't know if you notice some stuff. Popping it out mm. right now. See if I can get it out. I think I can. I don't know why it came from the factory like that because this is not one that I've used. Yeah, got it out. There's another one right there. I don't know where this. There it is. Got it. I was hoping and I get it because I don't want to, you never want to give something bad to a customer because then you end up with bad reviews and don't ever think that something that you see they may not notice because they will notice it. Okay, it was good. All right, now what I do, because this is white, red, this is white, okay. Yes, I gotta get to the iron. I am. I'm a mess here. Sorry, guys. All right. Oof. Okay. So I like to iron the whole thing, get out all the wrinkles. I steam it. Get it nice. Um, I'll. 
fold it like this and then I'll just, you know, tags in, fold it again, nice and neat. See? Yeah. So then what I'll do is, you know, so I have, I always package my stuff nice and neat. So here's her napkin and oops, can't do it that way. So I'll just fold one side. Ah, okay, black thread, but that's okay. Like this. Business card and their ordering sheet. I put it in the back also. And then that's it. And then I just I'm just weighing it and I print out my shipping label for them. You know, did I say, oh, I didn't put a thank you note. I always, for every customer, I always like to hand write a thank you note. Just gives it a personal touch. So, anyway, I'm not going to bore you with the thank you note and all that kind of stuff. But, anyway, so, this is the end of the video. This is how I do my dinner napkins. So, mm -hmm. very easy to do, as you can see. It's not a lot of work. Once you have the design and once you can put the initial on there and stuff, boom. Just put it in the USB port, put it in the machine. Just make sure that you um, float your napkin. Make sure that it's nice and even. Just do the two inches. You're fine. You know what I'm saying? So very easy to do. So anyway, if you have any questions and stuff, let me know. If you like my channel, first time watching, please subscribe to my channel. It's Body Quasolian Crafts. Just hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. I do embroidery happy hour every Friday at 8 o'clock. And um, also, we have a Facebook group called ha um, Embroidery Happy Hour Adventures. So please join our Facebook group. This is a Facebook group for us to share what we do, ask each other for help and advice, and all that good stuff. Okay, so have a great day and hope you enjoyed this video. See you later. Bye.